Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So today I have a haul of all skincare products that are very very popular on Amazon. So all of these are really hyped up products. People love them and I decided to buy them myself and test it out and see if it actually works and if it's worth the hype. So let's dive in. Also, before starting, I do want to say that Kickstart deals are now live on Amazon. So I will leave the link down in the description box for you guys to go and check out the sale. So let's dive in with the products. So the first thing that I got here is the 2% salicylic acid clay face mask from Dermaco. Now this is actually a repurchase of mine. It is not a new product. It's not something that I just got. I actually had this. Like I think about a year ago I was testing it out for a video and I used it up. So this is my second bottle of this uh, clay mask. I do have to say I absolutely love the mask so much and that is why I got a new one. So when I was searching for salicylic acid face masks, two options came up that were really really popular. One of them was Dermaco and the other one I have right here. So yeah, this contains salicylic acid in here, kaolin clay, activated charcoal and it has to be used like, you know, you can use it as per your skin needs but it says here twice a week you can use this. Now for me, I as you guys know, I already said I love this product so much but since my skin is dry, I don't like to use it all over. Over my face it can be a little bit dry not too much though because I don't like products that are really make my skin tight I do not like it with this one I really like to put in areas where I feel like I do have a little bit of that texture issue you know so only in my t-zone I like to apply it and on cheeks wherever I have like maybe a little bit of acne pimples or texture I like to use this I do see good results after using it but definitely not something that I use on a weekly basis it is mostly I like to use this like twice a month so yeah this is a product that I feel like deserves the hype if you have oily skin I assure you you're going to love this also it's good for sensitive skin too but again if you have extremely extremely sensitive skin something you know you get irritated very easily then I don't think that this is going to be the right product for you but I don't think this has fragrance in here yeah it does not have actually any fragrance in here the next salicylic acid face mask that I got here is from the brand So True and this is the salicylic mask stick. Now this has 2% kaolin clay, 2% salicylic mask stick 2% with kaolin clay so it's like the Dermaco one and it has niacinamide in here as well. The Dermaco one doesn't have niacinamide but this one it has niacinamide. Now I got this again because I used this was the older packaging that they had. This is from So True as well and this was also the same product. I think they just reformulated and they gave here niacinamide I think in the newer version. Now I have already talked about this. I made a short about this product. I have talked about how this product is something that I love and I absolutely do. I like this a little bit more than the Dermaco one because it's not drying at all. It does not even feel like it's a clay mask. It does not dry out my skin and I like to put this all over my face. Now you know some people may not like this because it comes in a stick so if you you know think that this is unhygienic just use a brush. Just use a face mask brush. Apply it from there and just apply it on the face and that is it. Problem solved right there. You don't have to put it like me like I it. I am someone I'm lazy so I like to just like wipe it all over my face now I do have to say extremely a good mask to travel with like this is one of the best masks that you know you can travel with it very easily the only problem with this mask is that wait let me just so the only problem with this mask is that it comes with a stopper cap and most of the times what happens with the cap is that it sticks to the mask and whenever you try to pull the cap or you know cap out uh, a lot of the mask comes along with the cap so there is a little bit of wastage right there I don't like how this mask comes you know while shipping but other than that I have no issues with this mask I absolutely absolutely love this mask and I do see why a lot of people are loving it too so I am on the love 
relationship with this. So the next product I got here is again from the same brand and this is the So True Upton face mask and it's formulated with turmeric, papaya and saffron. Now all these ingredients are really really good for brightening your skin and to fade your tan and pigmentation also. Now this actually has basin in here as well and I noticed that the texture of this is a little bit uh, I would say sand like a little bit exfoliating it has small small beads in it i feel like that is because of the basin in here and you guys know basin and turmeric and all of these ingredients are really good to just remove tan brighten your skin and i totally feel that happens with this product too this product is really really good if you want to just fade away your tan for tanning problems i feel like this is one of the best products that i have used personally another thing i do want to talk about this product is that it has really terrible fragrance like it does not have added fragrance i feel like the fragrance come from the mixture of turmeric basin i think so i just i just don't like the fragrance at all it's very very not very pleasant i would say so yeah but it does not have artificial fragrance in here so i do really like both the products from so true brand so the next product i have in here is something that i have tried before but i haven't tried the new formulation of it so this is the minimalist aha pha and bha this is the face peel now i used to i have tried the before version the one where it had the red sort of uh, you know pigment to the product yeah i have tried that one but i haven't tried this one the newer version okay so i am super excited to try it today i didn't try it because i have already tried so many masks just to show you guys so i could not put this on my face today i'm really sorry but i feel like i am going to like it i have you know good relationship when it comes to face appeals i like them a lot my skin loves it so i will be trying it out this week by the end of the week i am really excited to try this one out because it's been a really long time since i have tried minimalist products i don't know before i used to try them out a lot now i am just you know trying out a bunch of other skincare products so yeah i'm super excited to try this one it has 25 percent alpha hydroxy acid which is the aha 5% poly PHA yeah poly poly hydroxy acid or what let me just see it says poly so it's the PHA only I think yeah so and it has 2% beta hydroxy acid which is BHA which is actually the salicylic acid so yeah it has all of it in here I don't think so it's going to be good for sensitive skin though like I don't think so yeah but for me I'm like really super fine with it anyway the next product I have in here is again a very popular product it is when I typed in eye creams this is the most popular the, uh, one that came and I I have tried it out before as well I finished it up so I got another one so this is the 5% caffeine under eye serum from Dermaco now um, if you see you know a few months back like I think maybe eight months one year back I love this one so much i just think that i had a lot of dark circles at that point of time and while i was using it i did see a lot of difference you know it has five percent caffeine in here really good for you know if you have puffy uh, under eyes i feel like it's really really good for that and it has retinol in here as well and it has peptides in here and hyaluronic acid formulated with really good ingredients and i know generally people say that eye cream is not necessary it's up to you if you want to you know Get, go get an eye cream that's totally up to you i feel like it does work for me okay i i like using eye creams and it's not something that i use very regularly but right now i do have a little bit of dark circles and i do want them to you know fade away eventually so i am on to this again but for me as i have used this before i can say that for me it has definitely 100 percent worked and whenever people ask me you know what eye cream should i go for i always recommend them this one okay this one is really for me it's really a really good product next product that i got here i typed in moisturizer on amazon and this is the most popular moisturizer and it was popular product you know back in the day this is the neutrogena hydra boost and this is a product that a lot of people love now i decided to get the small one because i honestly didn't want to spend my money on the bigger one uh this retails for 349 i think so yeah 
I do have to say I like the texture of this product. It's very, very watery, something that you can use during this time of the year. Uh, definitely not for my dry skin during winters, but for this season, I feel like it's okay. The only thing I don't like about this is the fragrance. It's a little bit too much. Although I do see that my skin feels very fresh after using it. It feels so refreshed, hydrated. I like it, okay? But I just think that the Aqua Logica, the new radiance moisturizer, which I've been talking about ever since I ha have, you know, got it. I feel like that one is more better than this. And I feel like that is also a little bit less expensive than this one. So I just, if you want to have this kind of, you know, product in your, in your skincare routine, I feel like you should go for the Aqua Logica one. That one is really good and it has really minimal fragrance, like fragrance that doesn't even linger. And I like to keep that in the freezer, use it, just really, really good product. I feel like uh, this is popular because it was popular back in the day actually. Now I feel like it's something that not a lot of people use. Um, I personally like the Aqua Logica one a little bit more than this one. So the next popular product that I have here is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. This is the sunscreen. Now when I typed in sunscreen on Amazon, this is the most popular one. And uh, when I used it, I was like, oh my God, this is going to leave a white cast on my face. But uh, I have to say that I was shocked, you know, after using this, I was like, this works really nicely. I, for some reason, I was thinking it was going to leave a white cast on me. It is going to peel on me. It's not going to moisturize my skin that nicely. But I do have to say I like it, okay? I, I don't hate it. It's something that I am going to travel with it because it's so tiny. Uh, but if you compare this with my new favorite uh, sunscreen, which is the, again, the Aqualogica Radiant Sunscreen, that is my new favorite sunscreen, okay? That makes me kind of excited to use sunscreen in the morning. So, so that is something that I feel like no sunscreen can give me that feeling. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying also. But I just think that it's a good product. I see why people like it. Oily skin people are actually going to love this one because it doesn't feel too dewy on your skin. It, it feels like nothing on your skin actually. Uh, so yeah, I see why people like it. I just have better sunscreen in my collection, but I'm still going to use it from time to time. So the last product that I have is something that I feel like it's not that popular, but also people love it. Uh, this is the hair mask. This is the hair steam mask and this is from L'Oreal and I love this mask, okay? Like if you have seen my previous videos where I have sponsored this product, I actually like to use this mask on a weekly basis. So I like to keep, you know, like packets of this mask i was running out of it so i got these two i have to tell you guys this mask work okay and if you are someone you don't have to use it on a weekly basis by the way you can just use it whenever you feel like okay your like hair is getting very dry and dehydrated you need a little bit more moisture in your hair and you have a big event maybe coming up and you want to make your hair look very good i feel like this actually works does it give you like a spa like experience I obviously not <laughs> but the end result is almost the same like so when you're going to a spa you're also going in for the experience right I know that a packet of mask cannot replace that but I just feel like the end result is what we are looking for and the end result is actually the same now it tells you to first use the uh, the nourishing mask which is like a cream based product and then use this steamer mask shower cap all over and that is going to actually just make your hair look very shiny and just hydrate your hair and it does so it says here keep it on for five minutes what i do is i keep it on for at least about 15 minutes i like to do that okay if you are in a hurry go ahead put it on for five minutes that's so okay up to you but for me i just like to just keep it on for a really longer period of time and just let my hair soak up all the moisture so after using that mask i do see a difference uh in my hair and yeah i like it and i like to use it on a weekly basis so anyway thank you so much for watching this video that was it for today's video i do have to say if you are wanting to look for face mask then you should go for the so true one products i absolutely love them and yeah i love the steam mask as well excited to use the new minimalist one and yeah that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it anyway i'll see you guys in my next one bye, -bye.